Hello and welcome to Raising the Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be looking at circle theorems. Now, on the board, I've got some circles, and here is the problem we're going to solve at the end. But to start with, we're going to look at the first rule. Here I've got a circle with a triangle within it. The hypotenuse of the triangle goes right through the centre. Now, the rule for this is, any time I see a triangle like this, I know that that is going to be 90 degrees. Exactly, every single time. Any time the hypotenuse of the triangle goes through the centre, it's going to form a right angled triangle. But what happens if it's not a right angled triangle? Well, going back to this one, if this is right angled, what would this be? Well, this is a straight line, so it must be 180 degrees. And what do I know about the relationship between 180 and 90? Well, this is half of that, and that is double of that. So we use that rule here. If I pulled these two points round to here, I would end up with this kind of triangle. Well, it stops being a triangle. I end up with this kind of shape, like this one here. Now, as these points move round, these retain the same relationship. Where this was 90 and this was 180, this was double that. Well, this will be double the one at the edge. Angle subtended at the circumference of the circle from the same point and subtended at the centre, the one at the centre will be double the one at the circumference. So how does that help us here? Well, if this one is double this one, then this must be 44 degrees. And if you want to draw some circles and measure the angle, then you'll find that's true. So that's circle theorem number one and circle theorem number two. Anyway, uh, let me know what else you want to see in the comments below. <laughs>